So before we start, this is just going to be a ramble video, something that's been on my mind for a very long time now. I'm not bothering setting up the camera properly. I... There are so many things that I want to say. There are so many ways I want to word this. However, I know if I'm too hostile or too aggressive, then it doesn't look good and I get punished for it. Because freedom of speech is not something that YouTube really caters towards as much as they clout that. I just very much despise this platform, what it's turned into, and the internet at large as a whole. It didn't used to be like this. It used to be small and niche and fun. And you could you can argue this or that, there used to be worse people online, blah 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 blah. I, the internet was was like filled with like incels and furries and, and trolls and racists and whatever you want to fucking say from like the late 90s and the early O's. But my fucking god, it was such a better place than it is now. I say that with all sincerity. I would much rather be on- and th this sounds awful- I would much rather wish that the internet were filled with those people rather than becoming mainstream. The mainstreamification of this platform has been the slow, agonizing, infuriating death of it and content as a whole. There is so many examples of- uh, we, we'll keep talking just about YouTube in this case- but there are so many examples of complete idiots just rising to fame and, and glory, just just completely unjustified. Because the common viewer is just, and this is gonna also sound really fucking elitist, there are so many fucking, I don't wanna say the word NPC, but you know, you know exactly the type of person that I talk about when I mention that. There are so many fucking brain dead people, just everywhere. You are just surrounded by stupid people everywhere you go, every single place. And that thought terrifies me, and it's only, amplified in the audiences on these platforms because they have such a reach and not everybody you know fell out from the right tree you know not to say that i'm not a fucking idiot because oh i am i'm stupid as well i'm i'm not immune this platform has been absolutely agonizing to be a part of for the better part of the last few years and you've seen me take many trips away You've seen me say I'm gonna leave many times, and I have left a couple of times, and I intended on leaving again, fun fact. After Amnesia the Bunker came out, I was gonna make some videos on it, that was it. I was gonna go silent for like two, three years, and then come back when the next Frictional game came out, because this is mostly a Frictional Games channel. But I didn't want to leave you again, because I've had so many people enjoy my videos and tell me that, and hop by on stream and, and say this and that, and it does mean a lot to me, and I don't want to throw that away. <laughs> But facing this platform every single fucking day, I can't express how miserable being online makes me. So I don't do it very often. I try and stay offline as much as I can. Because it is so overwhelmingly upsetting how many people out there are just completely fucking brain dead. And having that window into into a society full of people that have no common sense it, it's mostly because the the majority of the people on the platform are kids and kids just i can't blame kids for being stupid they have like no brain it's still developing so it's like i can't complain to them for that but i i i, I very much despise children just i don't like them most of them sometimes they say some really funny shit and you're like i like you you're a good one but most of the time kids are just the absolute worst. There isn't really a point to this video. I do want to say that being on the platform has been miserable for the last couple of years. For this last year as well, my content has not only been taken down for very stupid, egregious, vague hate speech reasons when I've done stuff like this, but also I've been losing monetization on so many videos for no reason. It just gets instantly flagged. I, I can have a video with no swearing, no, no like, political commentary, no anything. I've been on this platform since 2011, but that's just as a creator. I was using YouTube before then. Um, I'm very much aware of how much the site has changed, how much the guidelines have changed, what the guidelines are. I look into all that stuff. I read up on all that stuff. And I don't make money from YouTube. Remember that. Because I'm, I'm such a small channel, I don't make money. And I'm fine with that. I've never done this once for the money. Because if I had, you would be able to tell. Because I would have been posting Fortnite videos, or Among Us videos, or this and that. I despise trends. I'm just so tired of it. I, I like, I, I don't know how people, and social media, like I don't use social media. I go on Twitter every couple of days. I barely even fucking use Discord. 
which my friends can attest to, that I just disappear <laughs> and don't say anything for weeks and they just come back and like, oh, okay. I'm in a state of my life where isolating myself is not a healthy thing to do, but I am... Um, it's like a, a, a an awful damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. The longer I stay online, the the more chance I have of finding new friends and connections and a community. But I fucking hate everyone. <laughs> you know, it's like... Which also leads into the thing of, like, if I dislike almost every form of content out there, maybe I'm just wrong. If I have a problem with everything... Maybe I'm the thing with the problem. And I'm not unaware of that, because again, I think about fucking everything. Not fu- I don't think about fucking everything, I just think about- I think about everything. It's just part of my autism, part of my- my fucking tics. I haven't wanted to be on this platform for a very long time. I wanted to leave for a very long time. Not just the platform. <laughs> because this world, this digital world, that, that we are now cementing as the real one, is so far removed from every aspect of my humanity that it's killing me. Now that may sound fucking stupid, that may sound just like holy fucking... like a dramatization, dramatization? That might just sound like a huge dramatization, but... Jesus fucking Christ. The fact that people are more willing to spend their time online, on a computer, than outside is, is mind-boggling to me. And I am so terrified for the future of the human race if this is what we're prioritizing. Say what you want, AI, fucking natural disasters, climate change, whatever it is. I am absolutely terrified of the future. Especially the one that we are creating as a society. The things that we're allowing, the things that we're promoting. The things that we've been promoting for fucking decades. Capitalism and consumerism and just corporational fucking influence is just disgusting. And I have never wanted to not be alive more than I do every day I wake up. I've never wanted to disappear more every day. Because it just gets worse every day. These aren't new thoughts. I've thought about these for months, three years, maybe longer. This platform is a fucking joke. It's getting worse and worse. The internet is a complete joke. It's getting worse and worse. People's delicate sensibilities and things they care about being absolutely nothing. People making their sexuality or their media that they consume a part of their personality, making their entire personality is disgusting and pathetic because then anything becomes a, uh, anytime you, you critique something, it becomes a personal attack because people haven't figured out how to separate their media from their personality because it's so homogenous and that homogenization of culture is becoming so prevalent because there are so many traditions and, and, and countries with unique cultures that are getting overwritten and, and westernized and squashed down into a tiny little box where they're losing every ounce of flavor that they had. And it is the most upsetting thing I think I could ever imagine for humanity. We used to be such a wide network of faces, names, foods, colors, cultures, smells, sights, architecture, poetry, music. We used to have such diversity. And we're finding out, through the rampant consumerism of the last 20 years alone, or maybe even just 10 years alone, from the technology boom, that if you weren't on the other end of, you truly don't understand why everybody wants to go fucking back to it. We have that to blame for the simplification of all media. And that's largely to blame for the general public. Because the general- obviously it's supply and demand. We constantly see people saying like, oh, video games are, are too expensive, or, or this and that. Vote with your wallets, or, or don't vote in, in certain cases for like political things. And that's just never been a solution, because people will always want to stick their nose in and think that what they're doing and what they're saying is right and takes precedence. And I know the irony in me saying that when all I'm saying right now is just an opinion, and you're very much free to disagree with me. I just despise internet culture and 
children at large. I just, I don't like them. I, I just, I, I, I honestly believe that if you are under the age of 21, you shouldn't use social media. You shouldn't use any platforms. You shouldn't have access to any platforms. I know that's a bold take. I think that's, maybe, maybe it's a fucking lukewarm take. I don't know. I genuinely don't think you should be allowed to have a presence if you are and if you are not an adult. Not to say that adults are, s are the smartest, bestest people, because there are some fucking stupid adults. Because people don't learn how to grow up. And parents nowadays don't know how to parent. That's another thing that's terrifying about the future, is if you're sticking a fucking iPad in front of a two-week-old baby and expecting him to get all of his enjoyment out of that, you're a disgusting person. You're an awful parent. Genuinely. You are just fucking lazy and despicable. I'm so glad that I didn't grow up with technology, at least not the technology these people have. I was born at the very end of the 90s, in a very different world, and to see how everything has changed over the last 5, 10, 15 years, the world that we are crafting for ourselves, the world that we are living in, is not one that I want to be a part of. It's one I feel wholly disconnected from. And one that I, unfortunately, have to contribute to. There is no message from this video, there is no takeaway. It's just my complaints. It's just my ramblings, my rants. My disdain for young, more successful people than me. Because that also plays a part in it. Um, a part about growing up that I, I didn't really realise is that the older you get, the more angry you become towards the youth for having opportunities you didn't have, or getting more successful than you, or doing this, doing that. Another thing that nobody tells you that's awful about growing up that you figure out when you're like 17, 18 is watching your parents go on that slow decline. No one warns you for that. I don't know. I feel like people aren't talking about this enough. I feel like people are so content to live in their own bubble, their own safety net, and make no attempts to diversify out of that and tread on new ground. The fact that people are so willing to dedicate their entire life to platforms that don't exist, completely intangible things, blows my mind. And the fact that people are out there are so content to consume rather than create is the most disheartening thing I think I have ever seen. And it fills me with this profound sense of helplessness and dread. For multiple reasons, for multiple years, I am no less than terrified for the future that we're making for ourselves. And I see little to no resistance for it. And I just assume that this is common sense. I just assume that my thoughts, because everybody does this, everybody's biased. I just assume that this is unspoken because everybody knows it's stupid and just... The, like, fucking commercialism and, and, and the, the rampant uprise of technology and 5,000 pound phones and shit. I just assume that the people, the reason people don't speak up about this stuff is because it's just widely just accepted and blissful ignorance and people are always going to be stupid, so I just let them be stupid. I don't know. I think we should tax them. I, th <laughs> I think we should tax stupid people. But it only taxes the smart people. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I know. I know how fucking like, narcissistic this comes off. I, I truly don't know any other way I can word it. Other than to balance the scales, I know that I'm not perfect, obviously. No one is. And I know that I'm not right about everything, obviously. And I don't claim to be. I try and be as open-minded as I can. I try and be as accepting and, and loving as I can. But fucking God. I am so scared. <laughs> I truly feel like there is no place for me, not just on this platform, but in a world like that. And I don't want to live in a world like that, but we can't escape it. It's coming. Technology is only going to get more and more rampant. It's, we're on the curve. The curve is going up and it's plateauing and now we're on another up with the whole boom of AI because it will bring about a future that we don't want.
For better or for worse, I don't think fucking Terminator, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, is gonna come out of the fucking ground and go, hasta la vista, nit, and then like shoot everybody, just like... I don't think that that's gonna happen. I don't think there's gonna be like a, a robots take Manhattan situation, you know? I just worry that the homogenization of culture and the simplification of media is running us the risk of losing our humanity. What defines us? The art and the culture and, tradi and the tradition. I am going to keep uploading videos. I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to keep being a part of this community. I'm doing it for you. Not for me. Because if I was doing it for me, I would have stopped this a long time ago. Thank you for listening.